know this is your favorite reviewer with another of my pop vinyl reviews. This is the pop television skeleton. I'm going to be working at him today. But just so we know, I have already reviewed Skeletor, but it was Disco Skeletor. <laughs> so there he is in his gold and purple disco suit. So make sure you have a little look at this review as well. But today we're going to be doing the regular Skeletor. So bye bye Disco Man. He's going to go back dancing. <laughs> So this is from the Masters of the Universe collection. There he is, Skeletor. It's number 19 in this pop television series. There he is with his skull and his purple outfit. And we can see him through there with his red evil eyes and his big teeth. You can see right through the side. So there we go, number 19, Skeletor. We got a clear view of him through the side of the polythene. We go to the back, we can actually see other characters that you can have in this series. This is commemorating 30 years of Masters of the Universe from 1992 to 2012. You've got He-Man, She-Ra, and Skeletor hung out with other dudes like Spike or Nereus. I'm going to be reviewing Spike or a later with you. So there he is, 19, Skeletor. Taking to the side, there he is in front of Castle Grayskull. He is just such a bad dude. He's the arch enemy of He-Man. And he wants to take the power of Castle Grayskull. So that's what he wants to do, take over Eternia. Yeah. There he is on the top. Of course, He-Man has to be protecting, protecting the castle protecting planet Eternia. Make sure Skeletor and his baddies don't take over. So he's in his plastic cover. So let's take you out Skeletor, you evil man. So there he is. And his hood. His pet hood. And his staff. He is just pretty mean, this Skeletor. There he is with his red eyes. My turn to the side. You can see he looks just like the picture on the side. So he's done the same paintwork. So he's got his purple suit on. There he is. It looks like a bit of a loincloth going on there. I like the detail, his eyes, skull, and then teeth. A lot of detail. Even on his staff, the head of the staff, I can see that. I like that. It's a good piece. Turn him to the side. You can see a little bit of muscle going on on his arms. I don't know how he's going to get that much muscle. He's all skin and bone. But he has got little shorts on. You can see that from the back. And there's his foot. There's some detail on his foot there. Turn him to the side. A little bit of detail on the top of his boots. So let's look at his head. Does it turn? Yes. Yes, it turns all the way around. 360 degree articulation of his head. Um, there's nothing else moving. His legs, his arms, it's all static. His staff doesn't go anywhere. So, this is really cool. I like him. If I was going to choose between the two, I would have to have Disco Skeletor, but that's just because <laughs> he looks like he's ready to party. But I still definitely like this. I'm just spoiled, aren't I? Because they brought the limited edition of the Skeletor figure out. So I hope that you like this. I want to say thank you to my friend Leslie Hulse for sending me the Masters of the Universe collection. Um, I'm going to be reviewing all of these. Thank you to Leslie for sending all of these to me. <laughs> if you want to send me something to review, you can definitely do it. Um, contact me, post a message below on this video. If you want to see more of my YouTube videos, go to my Tiny Tate's tube. Tweet me at Tiny Tate. Tell me what you think. 
like my Facebook page Real Tiny Tea and check out my cosplay blog because I've got a whole lot more geeky, amazing stuff that's on there. So until next time, stay super!